Hi again, everyone. Uh, welcome to Chateau de Colombe. And today we are going to work on doing some uh, repairing and restoration to this mirror. This is an 18th century mirror that uh, you may have seen in a previous vlog that we had. Uh, we got it uh, in an auction in episode 35 on Journey to the Chateau. And this is a carved and gilded wood a mirror with gilded plaster decorations. So you can see all of these floral decorations on here, which are all, they move around, they're all on nails. Uh, they're all actually made of plaster. And when we got this mirror, uh, we knew that it had uh, some damage and repair that was needed and it had some missing pieces, which is one of the reasons why we got it for the price that we did. And they gave us a bag that had some extra pieces, you know, for us to do repair work on it. So uh, for the flowers that are on here, uh, we have the one extra and you can see that they actually were put on with nails. There's a nail on the back that's inside of the plaster of the flower. And uh, so right now there is, should be one here, two, three, four, and including this one, which can go back in. So there are three that need to be replaced. Uh, this one is damaged a bit, but we may just leave that one how it is because, you know, it's, it's an old mirror. It's not supposed to be perfect. And then we have this, which is a completely different type of a flower. And this was actually attached up at the top. And there may have been yet another one above that because there's a nail hole up above this even higher. So we'll get that reattached and then I may actually make a replacement for this one as well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use my uh, mold putty to do a casting of one of these flowers. That way I can actually make plaster reproductions to replace on the mirror. You can see now that we have all of the replacement flowers in place. We have these three at the bottom, and then the one at the top that is the different flower. So now all we need to do is to get some paint and some gilding on these so they match the rest of the mirror. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to paint because this is the original flower, plaster flower with the gilding on it. But you can see on the back, the back was never gilded. Uh, the back, they just had a paint that sort of mimicked a similarity in color uh, because they would never gild something that didn't get shown because gilding was uh, expensive and time consuming to do. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put some paint on the back of these first, just like they were in the original. Uh, and then we'll, after that's dry, then we'll work on gilding the front. So now that that is dried on the back, the next thing would be would be to put sizing on the front. And sizing comes in different colors. And what this does is it puts a, a base coat on the place where the gold gilding is going to go. And it creates a sticky surface so the gold leaf will stick to it. All the gold leaf is now on the new piece. And you can see when you compare it to the previous one, you can see that it is way too shiny, uh, way too new gilded looking. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use uh, several different products in order to knock it down, knock down the shine and make it so it looks more like it is antiqued. And one of the things we're gonna use is going to be uh, a liquid that is uh, patina and this comes in different colors, and this is a dark patina. And then we have other kinds of gold rubs for antiquing that we will try to use to match the color to make it so it looks more like the original. I have finished now antiquing and gilding all of the new replacement plaster flowers. And here you can see on the left side are the two different flowers from the original mirror. And then the three in the top row and the one in the bottom row on the right side are the new replacement plaster pieces that I just created. So now we're going to put them in the mirror and see how it looks. And here it is, the 18th century mirror, back up on the wall in the salon, in the chateau. It now has all of its pieces in place and is looking pretty good. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time at Friday at the Chateau. Bye.